Hi, it's Roger Simonoff. A few weeks ago in uh, Banjo Hangout, we were talking about the modes of string vibrations, and I thought I'd shoot a quick video to demonstrate some of the, the modes and movements of the strings that I was referring to. Here's a string demo stand that we made back uh, in the frets and pickin' magazine days. When I attack the string in the center, it vibrates in one long continuous mode with the greatest amplitude in the center. This is the fundamental, or lowest frequency it can vibrate at. I'm going to put this pointer a quarter of the way across the string and attack it a quarter of the way across the string. And you will see peaks appear in both the center and at that quarter point. The response to the attack is an identical peak at the opposite end of the string. It's pretty hard to see in that small model what exactly is happening with that string. So I'm going to take a piece of elastic shock cord, which has very similar modes of vibration to the string for purposes of this demo, and I'm going to excite it uh, in the centermost portion. And now you can pretty vividly see the uh, fundamental of the string vibrating. Here again, the string is vibrating in full arcs. There are some other modes intermixed with the fundamental, but the fundamental, because I attacked it in the center, has the greatest amplitude in the center. And these modes move along the string according to where the string is attacked. So I'm going to move the pointer down to one quarter of its distance and attack it one quarter of its distance. And you will see uh, a node appear um, directly over the pointer. In fact, if you look at the string, it looks a little squarish when it vibrates because that node goes down uh, first appearing, um, exciting the string in quarter lengths, and then the fundamental, and then a series of... Uh, of other partials, the numbered sequence of these overtones are occurring at the same time. Now, in previous uh, posts to Banjo Hangout, I mentioned that the string is attacked sideways or lateral, or more specifically, parallel to the head. And here you can see there's very little up and down motion in the string. Let's take a, an end view of the string and see it moving sidewards. You notice the uh, modes continue sideways. Here's a close-up view of the string in motion, and you can see that since I attack the string at a quarter of its length, that we have this, uh, this, this peak occurring very close to the camera. I'm now going to attack the string in an up and down uh, direction, uh, which is something we can't do when picking strings on a, on a banjo with our thumb and finger picks. Notice the modes stay very much vertical. I'm going to move the camera up a little bit here so you get a better view of the, the string's excursion as it moves uh, laterally across the head. Look at the energy it's delivering to the dolly in, in the foreground here that it's attached to. Pretty interesting. Sidewards motion there. And let's take another look at it in the up and down motion just so you get one more view of that. But notice how when the string is attacked laterally and touched very lightly in an upward direction, that the string continues now to vibrate in a series of orbits that are both lateral and uh, perpendicular to the surface of the head. But watch what happens when I attach a surrogate bridge to the string, basically just a spring with a weight on the end of it. And notice how when the string is attacked laterally, the spring and surrogate bridge responds in an up and down movement. Of course, it's it's oscillating back and forth, uh, which a head would not do. But you can see um, the movement now becomes up and down at the bridge. Here, the resilience of the spring acts as a restoring force and helps keep the string in motion. Lastly, I'd like to demonstrate the longitudinal energy of the string. Uh, because of the string's elasticity, energy does move along the length of the string. Of course, steel wire is not as flexible as the shock cord, but I think you get the idea of how energy can move through the core of the string itself.